Freedom is time. Choices made. Directions taken. The vigorous, graceful, complex freedom of nature. Innate. Or the ever-demanding work and consciousness of a reborn state, Israel. This year, 1970, Mikveh Israel is 100 years old. As the first school of agriculture in the land, it was the country's great hope, the original source of the miracle of Israel. The funding of Mikri Israel Agricultural School was really the beginning of building the Jewish state in Israel. The first idea that is necessary to build a Jewish state in Israel came from a French Jew who was born during the French Revolution at the end of the 18th century, Adolphe Crimier. He was twice a member of the French cabinet. There was uh, happening something in uh, Damascus with a French who disappeared. His colleague said that he was killed by Jews in order to drink his blood. And uh, many Jews were arrested, some were killed. And this accusation was made by all the Jesuits there, and not only by Jesuits. It was also made by all French representatives in Damascus. When Adolphe Cremier heard about that, he came to Damascus. Then he got frightened. He knew that the first country in Europe to give Jews equality was France. So he began thinking, what may happen to Jews if French people do such things? What may other people do? And he came to two conclusions. One, he must organize all the Jews in the world in one alliance, and he called it Alliance Israelite Universelle. Not to organize French Jews only, but all Jews in the world. Of course, he didn't succeed, you can't easily organize all the Jews in the world. And the purpose was to defend Jewish rights in all countries. In the second idea to which he came, that he must renew the Jewish state in the land of Israel. The Jews should be able to go back to their own country if they will not be liked in equal rights and they will be persecuted. Then they will have their own country and they will go back. And to do that, he, in alliance with the Universal, sent one man, a very able man, his name was Harold Nutter, and was Jew to see what to do to enable Jews to rebuild the country. And he came then to Israel in the 60s. Then there was about 40,000 Jews. They were all living in four cities which were called holy cities. In Jerusalem, in Hebron, in Safed and Tiberias. And he said to himself, if Jews will live only in towns, you can't have a state. First of all, they must live on the land and work the land. And he came back to Paris, and he said, you must build an agricultural school for Jews in Israel. This will make possible to rebuild the Jewish state. And they accepted it, and they sent him to Istanbul, to Constantinople. Then Palestine was a part of Turkey. And the Sultan gave, without money, a few thousand dinars of land near Jaffa to build this school for 99 years, and they built this school, and this was the beginning of the Jewish state. When the agricultural school was found, was, first of all, Jews went to learn there, and they learned agriculture. Eight years later, the first Jewish village was built. It's called in Hebrew, Petr Tikva, which means the gate of hope. 
And then in 1881, pogroms were made in Russia. And Jewish students left the Russian universities and came to Israel to work on the land they could work only in Mikvi Israel. Because they had the orders from Paris that they must give work to all these students if they came to Palestine to work the land. And from there, later, many of them built new villages. So Mikvi Israel was the root of the state and made possible the building of a state. But a miracle, like the freedom of a country, requires the presence of our spirit and the evidence of our hand. And since its inception in 1860, the Alliance Israelite Universelle has given voice and body to this miracle. Not only in Mikveh, but in the decade-old French-Israeli high school in Tel Aviv, the unique school in Jerusalem for the deaf and dumb, the new René Cassin High School, also in Jerusalem, the century-old network of schools throughout North Africa, the Near East, and Southeastern Europe. In all these has the Alliance given form to the hope of Israel, engendering the spirit and knowledge to create something where before there was nothing. At Mikveh today, 800 boys and girls, 11 months a year for four years, follow studies in a divided day of theory and practical work.
tree is a Ficus Bengali, not at all native to Israel. One tree planted on the 50th anniversary of Mikveh, now a profusion of life. A single sapling whose branches now fall to the ground, take root and rise again. New sources of the growing forest of one tree. Not unlike the effects of Mikveh. The delights of succeeding, harvesting in the early morning, mindful of slipping just a bit of the harvest under one's pillow at night. these students produce the celebrated wines of Mikveh. of milk and honey gleaned from the most modern techniques and equipment. Thank you. 
Freedom, growth, profusion. Technique, skill, expertise. McVeigh students coming from all over the world work to carry out the school's triple role to receive the best manual and technical training in agriculture, to follow the research and application of modern techniques, and to give technical assistance to agricultural communities. Graduates of McVeigh are the nucleus of almost every agricultural settlement in Israel today. From this, they have reaped tropical gardens, citrus groves, eucalyptus, avocados, mangoes, pomegranates, freedom. Beyond the fields of McVeigh, the Alliance goes on in its work. This is the school for the deaf and dumb, perhaps the most reputed of its kind in the world. For the past 25 years, this unique school has given these children their way in the world. Pa amon. Pa, pa. Okay. 
Tin. Shaktan. Kazak. Kazak. Ah. Shaktan gidi dekat. Shaktan. Dekat. No. Eto shaktan. Naal. Para. Pana. Sus. Sus. Otto. Otto. Shaon. Ko. Shaon. An orchestra of deaf mute children. Many of them finished their studies at the university. The Alliance goes on in its plans, here in the René Cassin High School in Jerusalem. Edmund Rothschild High School, only 10 years old, but almost half the age of the country. Oh, my God. 
במידה שאדם יודע יותר, הוא מגלה עצמו שאינני יודע. זה הרי המשפט המרכזי של סוקרטס. מי הוא החכם? הוא יודע שאינני יודע. לא אומר שהוא אינני יודע, חכמה. תארי לך אם ידעת מה שאני אינני יודעת. הייתי מוכנה למכור מה שאני יודעת. What is the meaning here? The projector throws a widening circle of light, but there is still darkness all around. The pupil's answer is Socrates' phrase, the more I know, the more I know I don't know. <laughs> We had an ancient biblical language which remained static for many years, although the language was spoken by the rabbis. But suddenly we had to create a new language for a new land, a language based on ancient roots. The new words we created were of two kinds, those that were adopted from other languages, like the word television. How do you say it in Hebrew? How do you say university? Now there are other words which have developed through the grammar. For instance, how do you say cinema? What do kol and Noah mean? Kol is the voice and Noah means which moves. The moving voice, that is cinema. The Chairs by UNESCO, a contemporary high school play in modern Hebrew, the reborn language of the Bible. אני יכולה להתרגל אליהם, כל מוקף מים, מים תחת החלונות, 
את האופק. השעה שש אחרי הצהריים, וכבר לילה. פעם זוכרת את, זה היה אחרת. בשעה תשע בערב עוד היה אור. גם בשעה עשר, גם בחצות. נכון, 